We are now literally a month away from the release of Cyberpunk 2077 and CD Projekt Red aired their fourth episode of Night City Wire and like always we got a lot of insights about the game. Hey everyone welcome to Gamer Connect it's your guy Decker here and in this video we're going to talk about everything you need to know from Night City Wire episode 4. In this episode of Night City Wire they emphasized mainly on the vehicles of the game. So they showcase some of the many vehicles that will be present in the game and also how they recorded sounds from real life cars and motorcycles to use them as the various vehicle sounds in the game. Let's start with the various classes of cars. The very basic class is the economic class and as goes by the name, these are the cars that are available for cheap and does not come with high tech mods or neither do they look very impressive. But if you want to impress someone with your fancy looking car, then you have to go for the executive class. These are the cars where no expense have been spared and every possible thing in the car is equipped with the latest tech and equipment. Next comes the sports cars. The developers said that there will be plenty of races that will be going on in Night City and you can definitely participate in these races. Now sports cars are the ideal cars for these races, they are decked with powerful engines and exchangeable parts and can reach an insane amount of speed where other cars won't even stand a chance. Then we also have the heavy duty vehicles which are basically trucks and tanks with heavy armors and less speed. These are the vehicles you'll be going for when you'll be in need of a huge amount of power or protection from firearms. In case you're wondering to own a car which has both good speed and armor and as well as looks quite attractive then the Hyperion cars are the one you're looking for. These are the premium cars in the game and they are made up of really expensive materials with very precise bodywork. So all the cars in the game can either be purchased or stolen and after you own a car, you can also summon them anywhere like Roach in Witcher 3. So that seems like a huge list of options to choose from. All I know is that I want at least one of the best cars from each class or maybe somehow own all of the cars in the game. Apart from all these fancy cars, there will also be a classic car that you'll be able to see in the game which is a 911 Porsche from 1977 and it is the car of Keanu Reeves' character Johnny Silverhand. Now with the bikes in the game, all their models are based on designs by Keanu Reeves' company which is ARK. And that's pretty much all about the various vehicles in the game. A very fascinating thing that CD Projekt Red showed in this episode was how they recorded sounds from original cars and bikes to implement in the game. They attached microphones to the engines, tires and exhaust to capture the pure and genuine sound of every vehicle. They even recorded the sound of the doors and windows opening and closing of every car. And I think that is a really huge effort coming in from CD Projekt Red, even for a game which is not entirely a racing game. At the later part of the episode, we also got some idea about the various fashion styles that prevails in Night City. There are four different styles, kitsch, entropism, neo-militarism and neo-kitsch. So let me now give a brief idea about all of these fashion styles. Kitsch is basically based on the idea of entirely focusing on looks and totally ignoring functionality whereas entropism is all about functionality and not caring anything about the looks. Then comes neo-militarism which is more of a classy looking fashion but the main motive is maintaining the substance of the character. And lastly comes neo-kitsch which is basically a fancier version of kitsch or in other words it is a fashion style meant for movie stars and celebrities. So I guess that was everything from Night City Wire episode 4. The game as we know is launching on November 19th and they also announced that it will be coming out on Stadia on the very same day. So what are your thoughts about Cyberpunk 2077 till now? Are you as excited as I am? Let me know in the comments down below. For more videos like this follow GamerConnect.in on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. And if you want to find me, I'm there on Instagram as Decker was taken. So that's it for the video. See you again next time.